GeneratorPowerSource.com here for why you should choose an inverter generator. Not always is it uh, the best buy, but usually it's the best buy. So if you're not going to buy a, an inverter generator, uh, you have a couple options. Uh, most notably, uh, and probably the cheapest option is to buy an open frame generator uh, like this one we have down here. This is an old Coleman uh, generator that's been through uh, many a hurricanes and many a job sites. But the biggest difference between these units is portability, uh, weight, and noise, obviously. Uh, this thing is uh, significantly heavier than, say, a portable inverter generator like this. I can pick it up uh, no problem by myself. I usually need two people on the, uh, on the open frame. <clears throat> the other biggest thing is noise. This thing runs at 100 decibels, and it doesn't matter uh, whether you're idling or you're running under a full load. It de delivers a full load all the time. Whereas the inverter generators are going to throttle based on the demand. So if you start running something, then obviously the generator is going to throttle up. But even under a full load on a 2000 watt generator was uh, reading significantly lower by about uh, at a 50 at a 50 foot range, I think about uh, 20 decibels lower and right at the unit, uh, we're talking uh, 40, 50 decibels difference. So uh, pretty significant dif difference uh, when you're running right at the unit. That's the problem with these things. You can't you can't stand next to them. You, you, they're almost deafening. Uh, now, again, we got to come back to price because a lot of these open frame generators are significantly cheaper than the inverter generators. Oftentimes you can pick these things up for, you know, two, three hundred bucks at Harbor Freight and they're still quality uh, quality motor. Now you're not getting the portability or in my opinion, the reliability and uh, the convenience of these because you can actually take these to a campsite and enjoy the campsite and not run everyone out of the, uh, the campground with a, an open frame generator. Now, the interesting thing that we got to get to is uh, say this, this generator down here, the open, open frame generator is 3,500 watts. Uh, down here on the, on the ground, we have a Champion dual fuel 3,500 watt. And uh, to the left of it for you is the Energizer EZV 3000 watt, 3200 watt generator. So they're pretty darn close to this 3500 watt generator uh, over here, this open frame, uh, but these are significantly quieter. We have the actual decibel readings uh, in a different video and I'll link to that below. Uh, they're running literally half uh, or uh, at least a quarter or half uh, quieter than the uh, than the open frame, a lot more fuel efficient. So that's one of the biggest reasons to choose an inverter generator. These things are going to run significantly longer, and you're going to get more life out of it out of a five gallon gas tank than you are out of that thing right there. That's going to run wide open uh, the entire time you run it. So you can go camping and not have to take uh, 15 gallons of fuel with you to to run your generator. Uh, and again, uh, because now the inverter tech. Techn technology is really, really creeping up, you're still able to provide the power that you might need for, say, a travel trailer, uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioner. That Champion dual fuel will uh, most of the times run a 15,000 uh, BTU air conditioner. So that is kind of the perfect uh, perfect mix. It is a slightly heavier than some of these style carry generators at uh, 95 pounds, where as most of these are between 40, uh, 4 and 46 pounds. So uh, that is one of the nice things. If you're just going to be tailgating or you don't need to power a huge air conditioner or anything like that, this is a small inverter generator. It will definitely do the job. It's going to be much more appealing to uh, yourself as everyone else around it because it's not going to be blaring everyone out of there in terms of noise. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick rundown and show you what's possible because the inverter technology, inverter generator technology is really coming along uh, fast and these things can be paralleled with each other, meaning you can run two of them side by side and basically double the power to, uh, to be equivalent or more than an open frame generator. So this has been a quick rundown of the possibilities with inverter generators brought to you by GeneratorPowerSource.com. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and be sure to stay tuned for more videos when we compare the Honda versus Energizer, Honda versus Generac, etc.